uh, the contents of the waste paper basket of the Department of Health to us at uh, ten, 9 or 10 o'clock at night at, uh, uh, on Sunday night. Uh, but, uh, Seems it's okay for the state to do things like this, but not okay for us. Uh, so uh, we have to keep their schedule, but they refuse to do anything to expedite this matter. And it appears to us sadly that the court is uh, not anxious to expedite things either. So uh, we just have to do the best we can to do this. We keep telling the judge that it's uh, unconstitutional to uh, clear the court of the public. We keep telling the judge that this is the most urgent matter that has ever confronted the state. That uh, we are heading, that our country is heading towards a precipice. Uh, he seems to be aware of this, and yet he continues to allow the state to prevaricate and procrastinate and play uh, games with the public's livelihoods, lives, businesses, homes, and all the rest. Uh, because. The second and third oh, waves that we keep fake told news about program. are not going to be second or third waves of coronavirus. They're going to be second and third waves of bankruptcies, unemployment, homelessness, uh, and all the others, and all the other tragic consequences of all this, which this government, uh, this uh, irresponsible, uh, irresponsible is an inadequate word. All words are inadequate in the face of this situation. Uh, that these people do not care. They care only about their foreign overlords. They sign over our yeah, money on a daily basis. Yeah, that's why they love these organizations. They have no authority. They are not our government. They are not elected. They are de-elected. And they, will ref they refuse to go and they continue to spend public money yeah. on issues which are going to um, organizations which are destroying Like destroy fake news, RTE. Country. And they have been aided and abetted by I the media, who the are fall. the most grotesquely corrupt media in the world. And uh, this is our TV. Uh, and that's saying a lot. Propaganda uh, TV. Because yeah, uh, we, the situation is, they, 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 uh, with regard to the media, and you can you'll probably turn off your microphone now, but the, the uh, secretary, the Irish secretary of the NUJ, uh, two days ago, uh, made a plea to the government. She's that ashamed of RTE that she's hiding her face. Look. Made a plea to the government that uh, uh, for uh, more advertising money for ad for, journal <laughs> for uh, newspapers, for media, uh, they want uh, tax relief for people to buy subscriptions to media, they want uh, vouchers for people to buy subscriptions to media, and yet they refuse to do their jobs. They refuse to ask the HSE any questions. They yeah. come around here hounding us citizens yeah. who are trying to overturn this absolutely egregious situation. And they refuse to face down the HSE or the government. They give them softball questions on the late late and all their programs. And then they come down here shouting ridiculous questions in our faces. Uh, these people have no scruples whatsoever. And the sooner that I really hope we get a government that will tell them to get lost. Because if they don't, they're going to destroy the country uh, on their own. Yeah, we don't don't have have with the the times, and leave us without yeah. protection, yeah. George. Yeah. Media in Ireland have only one job, and that is to serve the, the public truth. interest to and to tell the truth. Make sure that the public is fully informed of the actions of the power that they are supposed to hold to account. But all they have become in recent years, in particular, is a voice box for Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, all of the hard left parties in the Dáil. They have become 